Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. A quick review of Earth to Ned. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. So the new Disney Plus original series, Earth to Ned, hits Disney Plus on September the 4th. All 10 episodes are going to be available, and I've watched the first five episodes, and they contain a number of different celebrities all taking part in a kind of talk show with an alien and a lot of sidekicks and it is very very weird it's a bit funny it's also kind of sometimes misses the mark of maybe what they're trying to go for but overall it's a kind of fun series the show is set like a late night talk show which is hosted by ned who is the commander of a spacecraft that has been sent to earth to blow it up but has fallen in love with celebrities the show was created by the jim henson company and features lots of new puppets which all look fantastic especially ned they look like they've spent some real money on this character and the facial expressions and how Ned looks they just looks really really great the set is also really impressive and helps set up the tone of the show especially with it looking like a spaceship I'll be honest though the biggest issue I have with this series is the guest list I do find that this one is very US centric there's a lot of celebrities on here I'll be honest I didn't know who they were when they came onto the screen and that's probably not a good thing for an international show. I do think Disney are going to have to be a lot more um, creative with how they're doing it, either getting some bigger stars on or kind of maybe just offering some more people from around the world. The issue I did have with this, there seemed to be a lot of sort of late night sort of sidekicks and just like, I didn't really know why they would have them on there because, you know, would kids know who, what a late night talk show is? You know, they're not going to be watching it, but would they know their sidekick? I don't know. It just seemed a bit of a strange one. There's also a kind of weird dynamic going on with the sort of celebrities where in the first episode, they don't know anything what's going on. And they're kind of playing along with that. And that kind of makes sense. And then in later episodes, they all know him and they all kind of love the show. And so when they all get beamed in, it's although it's, it's kind of fun. It's that kind of weird thing of like, you know, they're not taking it seriously. They're all having a bit of a laugh of it, kind of playing off the characters. And that's, I don't know, it's kind of one of those weird things. In some ways, the talk show element kind of gets lost because um, they're either in full-blown like PR mode or they're just kind of being kind of zany and wacky. And yeah, it's not really a proper talk show in some respects. However, the characters are really interesting. Um, I really like Ned, and obviously you've got his sidekick, um, Cornelius. There's also a number of other characters on there. It's all, it is very wacky. There's some weird um, skits that they do in between, and kind of setting up this whole thing of kind of Ned with his father, and it's it's very funny. It's kind of like it's like a sitcom with like this talk show element. I don't know how they came up with this idea. It is very crazy. I wouldn't say it was the best series. I can see in some ways why maybe Disney have put them all on at the same time. I personally would have preferred them dropping kind of week to week to week because I think dropping all of them at once if you're not really into it you're gonna maybe drift off the only good thing is I would say is like if you maybe like check out the first episode or just jump in and out depending on the celebrity if you know them or if you like them if you're not too keen on them maybe skip that episode or fast forward these kind of the interview bits you don't really have to worry about too much but like I said it's a very weird little show i'm kind of glad that they have done it i think in some ways it would have been nice had they done this with actual muppets rather than these new characters that they've created i think it would have been maybe if they'd done this instead of muppets now which is obviously a new disney plus show as well featuring puppets but it's very strange i kind of like it but i kind of would like i've you know having watched five six episodes i don't know if i'll go back and watch any more of them but generally as a whole it's a fun little series but i'm just trying to work out a, I'm not sure if kids are going to just like this Ned and all the, all the puppets and all the rest of it. But kind of going to get lost in the talk show element. And I don't know if adults are going to be able to connect as well because of all the skits which seem to be very aimed at children. There are lots of fun things about this series and I would definitely recommend you give it a go. But on a scale of like one to five, I tend to go right slap bang in the middle around about a three. Um, it's not something I'm going to be continuing on, I think, and watching all of the episodes. But I'm glad I've seen at least half the series and kind of feel like um, that, that's enough really. I kind of got a gist of the series with those episodes and was kind of yeah, even I was like, I got to the point of, I've been sort of stretching them out an episode a night to kind of watch them rather than watching them all back to back because I even was thinking that's not going to work, I think. But that's the problem, I think, with binge watching for me personally when you get that amount of episodes all at once. 
they can come up a bit samey. But at least with this one here, they've got the different characters meeting with different celebrities, which all have a big impact. Each episode runs about 22 minutes long, with each episode having a kind of a general theme, such as horror, comedy, Star Wars, or musicals. And I think that's about the right length and the right tone for the series. After that, it's a fun, entertaining talk show, inspired show. It's got something for, um, old, yet it's something new and different, but the guest lineup just didn't work for me. However, I'm more than happy to watch some episodes to see how the show progresses. So it's an easy recommendation for any Disney Plus subscriber to come in and check out the first episode if you like it. But maybe don't go and expecting the Muppets. So there we go. If you're going to be watching After Ned, let me know in the comments below. Go check us out over at whatsondisneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. And I should see you guys in another video. Laters.